All right, how we doing, Pete? It's Kelly O'Neill here, a.k.a. Sergeant Dog, and I have with me today Tay Harris. He is a junior at Cedartown High School right now, and he is he plays safety. Uh, he is the number 11 ranked safety in the nation, according to 247 Sports, and he just made a commitment. Right, Tay? Yes, sir. And where was that? Uh I did it this morning at home, so just want to do it with my family, you know, just get the full reaction and get out for me and stuff like that. And who was the team? Uh, the University of Clemson. University of Clemson, Dabo. Yes, sir. So what made you choose, what What was it about Clemson that you liked the best? Um, it really felt like home down there, you know. Just a lot of communications going down there. They got culture down there. They got high character men and stuff like that. So, you know, I you know, just wanted to make go ahead and make it official. So you felt you felt more at home there. You felt more comfortable with the with the leaders and all that, the coaches and whatnot. Yes, sir. Have you made any team? It made it in the team yet? Um, have I met people on the team? Yeah, on the team. Oh yeah, yeah. I know I know a few people from from Georgia and stuff like that on the team. So I mean, got that you team. that you've played against or with yes, before? Sir. Yes, sir. I played uh, I played against Khalil Barnes my sophomore year. When he was at North Dakota and, and in the fourth round of the playoffs, so it's pretty cool playing against him. So yeah, that was a pretty tough game, wasn't it? It was. It was. <clears throat> so at, at what age did you start playing football? Uh, I started playing at an early age. I started playing when I was like four years old. Four years old. Yes, sir. Did four. you have pads and a helmet and everything? Yes, sir. I started off. I, I always played like a great higher, great level above me. So yeah. So I started off with. So it'd be like class of twenty four now, but I started off playing. Thank God. So. so so you're known for your speed. Yes, sir. You got good speed. Have you always had that? Has it always been an advantage for you? Been fast kid on the field, so. You was always the fastest yeah. kid. So, uh, what was your first position? What which one did you start out at? I mean, I played safety, of course, when I was little league because I was fast kid in the field. So didn't let nobody get behind me. I played running back, so I like swing a lot of touchdowns. But I played a little bit of linebacker also too, because you know, I like Is to hit. It, they run a lot of sweeps. Yeah, but you know, it was just little league, so you know, just oh yeah, you know what you can to win. You probably scored what a thousand touchdowns. <laughs> yes, sir. You got the record down there for touchdowns. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, you and Nick. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I know the answer to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask it anyway. Defense or offense? Defense. And why? Um, I just like talking with people. You know, so I just I like getting after people. So just like to hit. Um, so when did the colleges first start trying to talk to you? Um, I went to a lot of colleges as a freshman, like at the end of my freshman year, just going, you know, CJ Washington, stuff like that. But, you know, I just started really from, from going for myself at the end of my freshman year, in, my, in the middle of my summer. You talking about making visits? Yes, yeah, so I started going like college game days and stuff like that, like my freshman year. But, you know, it really started to pick up for me my sophomore year in, my, in the summer. So, so, so what, uh, besides your speed, I mean, speed's one thing. Okay. But you got to be a football player too, right? So, so what was it that uh, that attracted you to the to the colleges? Um, my versatility is what attracts me to the league and the next level stuff like that. So, the more versatile you are, the more attractive you are. So, you got to be, you got to have a nose for the football in the position I play. So, I got a nose for the football. Yeah. So you got to have some football, ed, some yes, knowledge, yes, and uh, you, you got to have that instinct too, yes, don't sir. you? Yeah. So. So what got you noticed? Was there any particular play that somebody was like, wow, did you see that? Um, I say I had a lot of good plays in my sophomore year, but I say first round, see the Souls game. I um, went up against a wide receiver. It was pretty good. I had like 1,000 receiving yards going to that game. But, yeah, I locked him down and then made a good hit on him, knocked his helmet off. So that's really what, what really went crazy. So really got me. So you shut him down. Yes, sir. He, he's that, good. he just signed with Furman University, so he's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so Farmer and I, I don't know if they're, are they D one. I don't yes, think they, they are. They in South Carolina as well. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I've been up that way a few mm-hmm. times. Um, so, so w- football. I mean, what drew you to football? What made you like football better than baseball or basketball? Oh, I don't know. It's just I just like the competitive edge that you gotta that you gotta do with it. Like you know, just gotta go out on the field with that type of mindset. That you just got to get it done. You got to get the job done. So I just like the competitive edge. Yeah. You just got that football brain, don't you? Yeah. So um, which which school contacted you first? Um, My first offer was Georgia Southern. Like my, sophomore, <clears throat> my sophomore year. So they came to the school. 
when I was a sophomore in the Kansas school, told me they wanted to offer me a full ride scholarship. So that's just what really kicked it off. Wow. When you were a sophomore, yes, they offered you a full ride. That's pretty good. Yes. So, so I guess it probably wasn't long after that that other schools started started noticing you. And it only took a month for UGA to, UGA to call me. So. so UGA called you and offered you a scholarship right there, and, yes, and, you, and you took it. I mean, you, you, you accepted it, right? Yes, of course, that was early in the process. Yeah. You really hadn't seen any other schools. Yes, you just you live in Georgia, yes, you know. So you figure you're gonna play at Georgia, yes. but it didn't. But it didn't yeah. end up that yeah. way. Anything shake out that way, but no hard comes to the University of Georgia. No, no. It's it, you know, it's just one of those things. You, you got to find one that you you feel you're the best fit for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you may have jumped the gun a little bit, yeah. but who wouldn't? Yeah. You know, if Georgia yeah. asked me, I'd be like, Yeah, where you open to sign? You know. <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, how many offers did you receive? Um, I ended up with. I think 33 to 35 offers at the end. 35 offers. I guess that's probably every SEC team. Yes, sir. It's every SEC team, half of the Pac-12. Really, like USC, UCLA? Yes, sir. Half of the Pac-12, half of the Big Ten. Oregon, yes, Dan sir. Lanning, I guess, yes, sir. contacted yes, sir. you as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, he, you know, I guess he was still at Georgia when you were a freshman or sophomore. I was a sophomore. He, so he, he left after my freshman year. Something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, he's been up there like two, two maybe three years. But um, so you got a great work ethic. I mean, you put in the work. It's obvious. I mean, that's what's making you who you are, right? Where did you get that work ethic? Um, I say just growing up, early age, just going around my grandfather stuff like that. Just knowing how to how to see him hard work and seeing the work ethic that that you got to put in to be great one day. So just having that, having grown up, having that good lead to follow and stuff like that. My mom especially, so you know. Yeah, so so your mama made sure you got there on time. Yeah, and, sure, sure. She yeah, on. yeah, she stayed on you, yes, made sure you did your work. Yes, and but you already had it in you. You wanted to do it, yes, so sir. it wasn't it didn't it wasn't that hard for yes, her to get her get you to do it, right? Yeah. So so we already talked about your choice of school. It's Clemson. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, how, how long have you known that it was Clemson? Um, not long. I just like you know they've been recruiting me forever. Well, not for forever. They don't. They don't recruit committed kids. So when I decommitted, that was, that was the first kid they called. Of course. Really? I, I bet you got a slew of calls when you yeah, decommitted. It was, it was a lot of them. So it was, it was a lot. Yeah, I know. I know you went to LSU. Yes, sir. You went to Florida. Yes, sir. You went to Miami. Yes, sir. Where else did you go? Um, I visited UCF. Um, that, that was really it. So. Yeah. Georgia, Tennessee, and teams like that. But you know. I just, I just want to see where I fit, where I fit still. So right, it's right. The best game for me. So when you go, when you go to a school, okay. do do you sit down and talk with the coaches first? Is that what? Is that the first thing you do? When you, when you sit, you sit down and talk to the coaches. Go to the locker room. You watch a maybe a lift if they got a lift. If you're at a college game, then you see how they warm up and stuff like that. You get with the position coaches. You get with your position. You see how they warm up and stuff like that. You just get a feel for it on a game day if you go to a game day. But if you go to a regular visit, then you see how they practice, see how they go to class, how early they got to get up, how they how they eat, protein, nutrition, wise stuff. They take you through the whole thing. Yeah, they take you through the whole thing just to see, like, you know, just the full fit, see if you fit there, see if you want to do it. So Yeah. So, um, I know it had to be exciting. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. I mean, you know. You got some pretty good facilities here in, in, in at the high school, but it's nothing compared to college, it's just, is it? They just put a lot of money into it, so yeah, money going. So. They got, uh, you know, at Georgia, they just had a a nice indoor facility. They got that at Clemson as well. Yes, sir. I think I think a lot of schools across the country got indoor. Did well, let me ask you this? Um, did did you choose Clemson because it was a little bit closer to home? Um, not really. Did that did that have any impact it, on your it, decision? Kinda, because I didn't want to go like. 14 hours away from home. Right. But at the same time, like I said, I just wanted to go where I best fit at, you know. Yeah. Coincidental that it was two uh, two and a half hours away from where I stayed, so it, was, it kind of worked out in my favor in the end. Right. So I guess you you, you did want to stay yes, south where I it was warmer. South. Yes, sir. Right. Because you get up north and it's it gets really cold. Yes, sir. But they got, you know, Ohio State, Michigan, there, there's some good ball clothes, but yeah, yeah I would rather stay down yeah, south, too. Enough, um. So so this is you made a commitment, right? And you you you're agreeing on some things with Clemson, like you 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 recruiting is over. Yes, sir. Right. I mean you you don't you don't talk to anybody else from any other school or anything like that because 
you're in Clemson. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, but you haven't signed yet. No, sir. When when does that take place? Um, I think they actually just recently changed the date, but I should I should sign between December first to December fifteenth, but the date might be December fourth. Is that the early signing day? Because right. they, they change it daily, so you you never know until. It seems like it used to be in February. Yeah, the, the, well, the, that's National Signing Day, but yes, early National Signing Day is in December, so it's it's anywhere between December first, twentieth, yeah, something like that. So it, it changes daily. So. When you make your commitment, that means you're done yeah. with your recruiting. Um, what do you What do you tell a school that still tries to contact you? Do you say I'm I'm done? Yeah, or? I just say you know, coach, I appreciate you for recruiting and stuff like that, taking the time out of me. But you know, I just unfortunately I went another way and stuff like that. You know, just try to be respectful going through the process because you know, yeah, coaches are human too. So well, they vested some time in you. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And they and they probably they wanted you. Yes, sir. You know, so I can appreciate them. You know, being a little. You know, yeah, a little, I don't, don't want to say upset, but yeah. you know, uh, they didn't get, get, didn't get the man, exactly. you know what I mean? So, you can understand that. Um, so did did Clemson tell you, you you're gonna play safety? Yes, sir. They they want me to come in, they, they, they recruit me to play early, so really, they, they want me to come in and play early, so you know, I gotta learn defense as quick as I can. So, that's the reason, and we we talked about this before we got into the interview, yes, but you're gonna. Report in December. Yes, yeah. As soon as you sign, yes, you're going to report, right? So I uh, finish my classes early and stuff like that, and then on my way to Death Valley. So I'm just trying to make an impact on day one since I get on campus. So I guess the first thing you're going to do, when you, of course they're going to get you lined up with your classes and get your books and and all that stuff. But probably the first thing they're going to get you to do is get the film room right yes, sir, and get you to book. learn learn the playbook yes, sir. Yeah, so do they give you a certain amount of time to learn the playbook i mean it's really before like you got to know before spring ball so yeah, unless you uh, if you want to play yeah you know. so is it is it pretty big is it a big playbook it's a big i mean playbook. it's a lot to learn it's a lot uh, defensively it's a lot to learn so, yeah so, yeah i can imagine yeah, yeah. um yeah I, I wouldn't pass that test <laughs> I forget. I forget too easy. So, um, so you're going to report like December twenty fourth. Well, um, day before like, Christmas. Like, no, I, I wouldn't do the day before Christmas. It depends on whatever they want me to do. Like, if they want me to come in, learn defense, but you know that like you can come home at any time. So, so December they they break for like they call it what winter holidays, but it's yeah. Christmas break. Yes, sir. Um, That'll be during that time? Yes, sir. So okay. It'll be, so it'll be around like, so if we go to the state championship, of course we are going this year, December 9th. So then I finish out school, finish the last, well, finish the first semester. Yeah. And then my class is done, but I'll be on my way. But but I'm, if I'm finished with my classes before I play in the state championship game my senior year, yeah. then I can go whenever, whenever, they, whenever they want me to, whenever they say I want to give up. So. so this is probably a dumb question, but they did offer you a full ride. Yes, sir. You got everything taken yeah, care of. everything taken care of. You got me a ticket too, right? Got you. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. All right. So, tell you, it's been a great interview. Um, you know, I think a lot of people were interested in your, you know, in how this process worked and all that stuff. Do you, do you have any parting thoughts for you fans that uh, you'd like to share? It's a blessing to be in my position. You know, a lot of kids don't get to do this growing up. So, I'm just going to keep working to try to make everybody proud. So, so. Well, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that because you got the work ethic and you got the right attitude. We're just going to pray that you stay healthy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But uh, really looking forward to see see you in the orange and white playing for Clemson. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you.